What the Fox, everyone? We've got results, news, and giveaway info in this week's Echo Fox update straight from Echo Fox HQ. We give more Fox about esports than anyone else. Is that appropriate? Yes. Our Gears of War Fox has made big moves during this past week's 2K, slicing and dicing through the competition to emerge victorious. On their path to the Grand Finals, the team wiped the floor with Gosu Crew and Motivate Gaming. In the end, it all came down to a face-off against the big bad league-leading Optic Gaming. Echo Fox managed to wrestle away the first match, but those OGs fought back, claiming the second match for themselves. After an incredibly close series, our boys in orange refused to leave with their tail between their legs and took down Optic to be crowned this week's champion. The clutch victory pushed our Gears Foxes into second place in the North American region, closing the gap on Optic Gaming and setting up an interesting few weeks leading up to the Vegas Open in April. The Echo Fox fire has been lit and our team is raring to bring home their first major event champion which would be amazing. The only thing I ever bring back from Vegas is shame. So much shame. Said what happens there stays there. No. No, it doesn't. What the fuck? For the third week in a row, our League Foxes stand uncontested as top dogs in the NALCS. Or would that make us top fox? I mean, I guess technically we're the only fox in the League, so... Wait, is a fox a dog? I mean, because then top dog would fit be because... the top fox, so... Moving on, Xander. Right. This past weekend, we faced off against Golden Guardians, where our team came up a little short and let the game slip away. Our LOL Foxes managed to pull it together on Sunday and hold on to their first place standing when they secured an important win over Optic Gaming. With only two weeks left in the regular season and sitting on a record of 11 and 3, Echo Fox is looking to close it out as number one in the league and get that coveted bye to the second round of the playoffs. Make sure to tune in to their challenging match on Saturday at 2 p.m. Pacific against third place Clutch Gaming. Then on Sunday, your Foxes will square off against Counter Logic Gaming at 12 p.m. Pacific, where they'll be serving up a dish best served cold, pizza. Pizza topped with a healthy heaping of revenge. Last time these two teams faced off, CLG slapped Echo Fox with their first loss of the season. So it's gonna be a tough weekend for our boys in orange and blue. If you're jonesing for some foxy goodness before the games, make sure to meet up with us outside the venue for a good old fashioned Echo Fox tailgate, where we'll be giving away tons of hats, stickers, posters, and fox loads of other foxy swag. After three years of trials and tribulations in Steam Early Access, H1Z1 has officially released as a full-fledged game. Along with massive updates to combat and UI, developer Daybreak Games also released a brand new, fast-paced, action-packed game mode called Auto Royale. In this no-holds-barred demolition derby, players work together in teams of four to destroy their opponents in hopes of becoming the last car standing. Collect power-ups to pimp your ride and outfit your team with heavy weaponry to give yourself an advantage over the competition. We spoke to Echo Fox General Manager Mini to get his thoughts on the new mod. My first take on Auto Royale was I was excited. I, it's something fresh, something brought into H1 that uh, just lightens the mood of the entire community and most of the time the community is very serious and competitive but with auto royale it introduces a completely new game mode that is so laid back that anybody can get into it right away it's super fun so if you haven't checked out h1z1's new skirmish mode auto royale you definitely should check it out how does any of this tie in with echo fox you may ask you'll just have to wait for the official h1z1 pro league team announcement that is dropping later this week make sure to follow the team on twitter facebook and instagram so you can stay up to date with all the latest news what the fox you know what that sound means we have to evacuate this is not a drill code red code red every man for themselves get out of my way Apparently that sound is not an evacuation warning. It actually means it's time for another stellar Echo Fox giveaway! <laughs> this month we're giving away a brand spanking new HyperX Alloy Elite RGB keyboard along with a HyperX Cloud Alpha headset. Up your game and play like your favorite Echo Foxes with some of the best tech and gear in gaming. To enter for your chance to win, just go to the link below and follow the simple on-screen instructions. Easy as that. There's no limit to how many times you can enter, so get clicking. The giveaway ends on March 20th, and we'll be announcing the winners right here on What the Fox. So make sure you tune in to see if you won, because we're not going to call you. Don't wait for us to call you. I don't even know your number.
There's a ton going on over here at Echo Fox HQ, and we are dishing out more content than ever before. We've got recaps, updates, and tons of other videos coming out every day. So make sure to check out Echo Fox on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter on the daily to make sure you don't miss a thing. Speaking of which, you can look forward to a brand new player profile later this week featuring Echo Fox's all-star top laner, Hooney! So check it out. Well, that does it for this week from the Fox Den, and now you know what the Fox. We'll leave you with the results from this weekend's LCS matchups, and make sure to keep your eyes peeled for the full recap coming later this week, where we'll be highlighting the fan experience at the games. Enjoy. Huh. I'm not falling for that again. It's a joke, right? Just in case. It's week seven here. We're playing against Golden Guardians. Baby! Oh! Last down, and so is Alltech. While things weren't going the best bottom lane, Phoenix actually ended up picking up two kills in the top lane, where we had a three for one trade. Nice! Unfortunately, it wasn't enough today. That's it, Golden Guardians. Take down the number one team in the league. Going into tomorrow, I mean, we just have to focus up. Uptick Gaming aimed to take down Echo Fox. Dardock died early. Dardock's got nothing left to go, and first blood to Bowie. It was a really sloppy match by us. Barrow with the damage, Shockwave's good, but Altec does fall arrow on a rampage. We got a lazy and showed a lot of really bad form. A little dicey there in the main game, but Echo Fox come out on top. It feels really good to win, but like we're aware of all our problems and we're going to actively work on it so we can be really strong for playoffs. <laughs>